This is the seaport of West Bay. It's about two miles south of Bridport. We can't get into our hotel yet, so we came here. And we'll have something for lunch and then go on a walk. Say hi. Jennifer thinks she wants to climb that hill over there. This will be our first fish and chips of the trip right here in the harbor at West Bay on a little stand. There's Jennifer down there. Yes. We are hiking up the South Coast Trail, the Coast Path. Up, up this big hill. Right here on the water. We made it to the top. To be honest with you, other than a little panting, it was easier than I anticipated. You can see the part of the harbor down there. Some of the main parts of the village and the back into Bridport. There's a trail that goes right along the coast there. There's some kind of steps. We'll see whether we can take the next hill or not. It'll be up to Jennifer. This path is right along a golf course. This is the South Coast Path. My brother-in-law Chuck would love to golf here. This is the way down. You are. How you doing on the way down? Good. Doing good. All the way down that hill. I have just a little bit more to go, so let's not think so, shall we? Ta da! I did it. I did it. That was a long way down. Up. Tiring. Down. Nerve wracking. Summary of the hill. <laughs> West Bay Harbor, the water's coming in. The tide is coming in. That's good. All of the beach along here for all the way down to the east, past Lang Regis, and all the way down to Weymouth. Coast, where paleontologists and common people have made incredible discoveries of Ithacosaurs, I believe is the dinosaur. Um, as the cliffs wash away, then they're revealed embedded in the cliffs. And then on the shore, everybody can find little, and I've forgotten the official name, but they look like snail shells, but there's some kind of fossil that you can find as you're walking on the beach.
Well, there's the hill we walked up right there. We didn't continue on down to that big beach, although we talked about it. This is a little cliff up above Bert and Bradstock. It goes along the South Coast Trail that we may try it later. And down there is called Burton Beach with all those people or things or whatever is down there. They're the cabanas. little cabanas. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to guess. Well, that must be a resort um, area down there. Wide enough beach to have that. We are starting out on the South Coast Trail at Burton Bradstock, just next to West Bay, to see if we can hike along the coast while the weather is sunny, at least this morning. This is the Burton Hotel here, as we get ready to start our main walk. And we're going to head that way, up that hill. up there? Might be. Lots of footprints down there. Well, we've just hiked through a bunch of holiday cabins and now we're on our way along the beach. This entire area was used in World War II to practice beach landings and you can see why that would have been a good thing to practice here. This is the southwest coast path to West Bensington summer route.
we decided we might try the real actual path instead of the social paths down by the water and the cliffs. Not sure it was a good idea yet. But it looks like we're going to get to cut back here pretty soon. See where a ways out there from the coast out there. We'll walk back on that. Well, it looks like the coastal path, which is not actually on the coast, has turned into a muddy mess once again. We have to figure out how to get through this crud. We may have found a reprieve from the mud. We'll see what we get out here. We made it about two and a half miles or so, and we decided to turn around pretty much the next however many miles is either in the trudge that we were just in or the beach. There she goes. Well, over in there, that grassy area there, where those people are right there, that's where we walked in the mud. It's pretty. Now we've gotten up out of the sand, found a place with a little more firm ground to walk in some places. Okay, we're back from the summer route, and we know it, why it's called the summer route, because it was full of mud. For a mile or two. That's the way right over there. How was it? It was a one and done. One and done, and I can't even say I'm really glad it was the one. But I was glad to find a path back to the rock beach where at least we knew where we were going and we weren't like King of Mud any longer. Looks like we have another mile or so to go. Headed on our way back now. It looks pretty down there and it is very pretty, but boy, those baby pedal pebbles that we walk on were killers. The sun is there with some sun dogs every once in a while. You can see some rain out over the water. Guess we won't be taking that road. Well, we finished our walk. 
that way. There's our car, the red one. Bert and Bradstock is where the church is in the background. Now we're on the other part of the trail from Burton Bradstock over to West Bay that we thought we would take till it gets hilly. The sun's out, it's a nice day. Thought we'd give it a shot. Taking a lunch break here about 1.30. More of a snack break. This will be lunch. <laughs> it's beautiful now. We found a bench behind a wall in the sun, made to order. That's the town of Burton Bradstock. Well, this was our lovely little lunch spot. And now we're off on a walk again. Jennifer thinks she wants to make the peak up there where that red building is, or somewhere up there. But she said she's not going down or up any big hills. It's a new definition of windy today. We were sheltered from all this. Real fast when it dies down. <laughs> oh my. This is quite the adventure we have had today. Wowzers. Oh, it must be, what, 40 mile an hour winds when it's blowing. All right, see the top of that hill? You're going to see what's on the other side, and that'll probably be it. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. This is Westport Harbor, and you can see the cliff between us and the little seawall is where we walked yesterday. We made it to the top of the hill. Westport in the background. And now we're headed back. It's like it was about a mile or so. This is the top of the hill. And then we're gonna be a little more fence. Right, the red rock stuff we thought was up here is actually some construction netting. Maybe the fence fell down. Maybe. Well, this is at the end of our walk today. Five and a half miles. Pacific Coast Path, Abbotsbury, we didn't go that far. Look at all these fun things in the window. All the windows have Christmas things in them. There's Santa, and there's a merry-go-round and a ferris wheel and all sorts of fun things and then the last remaining thatch the last remaining thatched roof brewery in england the new 
a bit out of the process and over the flow. But just above you there is the mash tun, and so we'll go up and we'll go past the mash tun. And so the wort comes out of the mash tun and it pours out of those six blended copper tops, goes into the under back, and then it goes up there into the process, into the process uh, later on. We don't brew, as I say, to stop pile, we could, we could brew more and sell it through to the supermarket, but once you start to brew that, your margin will be taken back taken over because there's another supply, there's another supply, there's another supply. So when is the end of the season for you to brew? When, it, when do you stop then? Well, we, we will, it's, it's tailed off a little bit now because the, uh, because the tourist trade is, uh, has disappeared. But Palmer still have 53 pubs that they own. Um, we also supply beer to a number of other ten, uh, ten into, uh, to a number of other landlords throughout the Devon, the Dorset and the Somerset area. It's a very good control, but they used to have cats. Yes. And so 18,000 pounds. So what does this bit of kitchen, think of this as, uh, as a tin pot that is enhancing extra hops if they're introduced. And then similarly, this is the, uh, it's the end of the heating process really. And so at the bottom, think about it as a big tea strainer as well. Oh, is it so, you, so you will drain it and strain it and strain it through yeah. the so yeah. In the middle, it's slightly smaller than the two on the outside. So you've got six, 64 barrels on the outside, you've got 30, 32, 32 barrels. Is in one of the four times that you just that you just see, and the fermentation process takes place over a, over maybe about six, seven, eight days, depending on the ABV and the level of alcohol content that you want within the, within the beer. So this is a little graph saying that you heat the the wort. We are here in Lyme Regis. We came down here for lunch. We ate at the Cobb Arms after our tour of the brewery. Out there in the distance by that kind of yellowish rock is West Bay where we were back on Saturday and then along that rock is where we walked and hiked.
This is the other side of the river outlet that we saw earlier. Okay. Well, this is the other side of the wall that the waves were breaking on. basically big giant rocks which is way nicer to walk on than what we were on yesterday. This is the sea village of Charmouth at high tide on a windy, windy day near sunset. There's the coastal trail. Jennifer does not seem excited about doing that coastal trail there. We're out for a long drive along the coast today and our first stop is Abbotsbury which is right there. And this along here where you see the brown and the little lake pond there. Along that beach is where we did our walk and our hike the other day. We are in the little village of Abbotsbury where we stopped for some postcard stamps in the little village shop and we're surprised with the thatched roofs and the yellow stone. The little village shop where we got our postcards. Or the little village. This building is on the corner, it's even rounded. Just some of the village from the church. You can see the sun on the hills up there and the slate roofs. And that must be the old abbey up there. This is the church down here in the village and you can see the ruins of some old abbey. The bells if you heard them. And the ocean down there and the abbey up there. This is Portlandville Lighthouse at the end of the peninsula where Weymouth is and it is a windy day. Is it a windy day? Cheers.
the sun side. So windy, it's almost blowing me over. This is the little lighthouse just above the main Portland Bill. This is from the heights up above Weymouth uh, in the town of Portland. Pretty sure you don't get this view very often because the wind is blowing us over. can't get blamed for this one. Here comes a vehicle. In 400 yards, turn right onto a 354. And Dad picked it. Take the third. Dad picked it. I didn't pick this. But it's definitely a Jennifer Road. There's it the bridge. Said, unsuitable for coaches. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and a whole lot of other things too, I would think. There you go, down we go into the harbor. This is called Doodle Door. morning in Bridport along the River Asker. Sun is out. It's been raining since we've been here on and off and the river is super high. We walk down to the brewery a little over half a mile or so. the wheel would be going but not today 
can see where the water comes in and then goes through the wheel and then comes out. The river's, shoot, twice as high as it was the day we did our tour. On our way back.